relaxation of the SLE MiniFlow Dual Limb Non-Invasive Interface. This video shows how to set up the SLE MiniFlow for Dual Limb Non-Invasive Ventilation. Firstly, select the following items. SLE MiniFlow NCPAP Generator. SLE MiniFlow Measuring Tape. MiniFlow Foam Block. Appropriate Bonnet correct size mask or prongs. Using the SLE MiniFlow measuring tape, measure the circumference from the nape of the neck across the top of the eyebrows. Select the colour of bonnet indicated and measure the prongs or mask size using the range on the tape. The selected prongs should be large enough to seal the whole nostril with the flared end of the prongs. The arched edge of the prongs should sit above the patient's lip when attached to the SLE MiniFlow NCPAP generator. Masks should be selected to fit precisely along the sides of the nostrils. When attached to the NCPAP generator, they should conform to the shape of the nose. The bonnet comes with a Velcro strap to hold the generator in place and two Velcro tapes to position the prongs or mask. The bonnet should be positioned on the head from the nape of the neck, just above the eyebrows and covering the ears. The stitching needs to be midline to ensure correct positioning of the nasal generator. The Velcro tabs on the bonnet should be an equal distance from the midline. Attach the nasal prongs or mask to the NCPAP generator. The generator has the option of a 60 degree angle, which is mainly used for masks, and a 45 degree angle, which is mainly used for prongs, to ensure a good fit. Insert the MiniFlow foam block, making sure the foam has space to house the dual tubing and is an equal distance between the Velcro tabs. Insert the SLE MiniFlow NCPAP generator into the oval opening. Placement of the tubing in the foam should give the correct position of the generator to provide the optimal seal. Cover the foam block with the Velcro strap. Insert the Velcro tapes in the slots on the mask or prongs and affix one end above the ear and one below. Gently rub the Velcro attachments onto the bonnet. There should not be any tension on these tapes. They are for positioning, not to secure a seal. Once in place, the nasal generator can be attached to the SLE 6000 circuit and dual limb non-invasive ventilation can commence. If the patient is intubated, they can now be extubated. Checks and cautions whilst in use. Important points to remember. Do not insert the prongs fully into the nostrils. Only the flared portion should be inside the nares. The curved line on the prongs indicates which way round they should be placed. The curved line is to be placed to mirror the top lip to prevent the connector block touching the nose. Regularly switching between prongs and masks is an effective method of avoiding or reducing damage to the patient's nose. Ensure the weight of the ventilator circuit does not pull directly on the patient's head or the interface. When undertaking tissue viability checks and observing the infant receiving NCPAP, please ensure the position of the bonnet is as intended. If the baby slides down the bed and the ventilator tubing is secure, the hat may slip up the forehead, increasing the risk of pressure damage to the nose. Do not pull the tapes too tight. The SLE MiniFlow NCPAP generator is held primarily in place using the bonnet and foam. If the leak is too large, check the position of the bonnet and the position of the generator in the foam. 
Also check the angle of the generator prongs or mask. If the problem persists, review the size of the prongs or mask. The inspiration and expiration tubes should slope away from the patient and the interface so that any condensation does not come into contact with the baby. If you need further information or guidance, please contact your local sales representative or consult the website.